What'd that tell you about accompaniment? Did you see how the pianist stayed with her even though she did all those crazy things and he kind of did some crazy things too? Well, that's what accompaniment is and we have music underneath something else. So the music under kind of needs to do, you know, lots of fun things to make the rest of it very interesting. But it can't overshadow that because what is being sung or played as the solo is super important. It's the melody usually. So, Dame Patricia and her accompanist, as he's called, did a great job there. And even though they had a lot of fun with it and stuck in some funny things, the pianist stayed right with her to make the accompaniment really come together and make the piece really great. So, that's what we're going to do today with accompaniment. Now, one thing I'm going to do a little differently is I'm going to record an accompaniment on the organ and then play with the organ because we have a, a playback feature and I'll play the xylophone part with you guys. But then I'm going to do one that is just the piano and that will give you the freedom to figure out how this works together and see if you can play with the piano. So. I hope you enjoyed this and have had fun learning at camp. Now, let's bring it all together and play with the accompaniments. I'll see you in a bit.
with notes and rhythms. See if you can play with the piano without any help from me. I'm not gonna play the xylophone, I'm gonna play the piano. So, let's give it a go. Here's a little introduction, and I'll look at you when it's time to come in. How'd you do? Could you follow? The piano played most of the melody, but a few times added a few things that weren't necessarily what we've dealt with, but it sounds kind of nice to put it with the melody. So that's how accompaniment works. I hope you've had fun doing all of these things to learn a little bit more about the xylophone and the percussion family, pitched percussion to be specific. I hope you've learned notes that you didn't know before or reminded yourselves of rhythms and if you've never done any of this i hope you've gotten a little better feel for how it is and even if you just followed the colors and made made music with the colors that's fine too i hope it was a lot of fun hope it was fun with the organ and the piano and i hope that we all get to do this together in person soon but in the meantime keep playing these instruments they're yours to keep the church gave those to you so that you will have them. And you've got a few extra songs in the back of your book, and I'll put videos to playing those in case you want instruction on that. And you've got the music that came with the xylophone in the box. So you've got plenty to keep you occupied for the rest of the summer before school starts if you want to. And be on the lookout, and we will get together for some fun music things this fall. I hope you had a great time, and I will see you soon. Bye. you've got the hang of this is Jesus loves me but with two parts so you're playing two notes at a time that's why they're vertical now you might notice a little something different about the time signature and that's okay so this particular arrangement is done in 2-4 which we know is cut time all that does is it changes the note values but the sound the rhythm that we normally sing remains the same. So here's an example of this, and you can also play this with the accompaniment track that we had from earlier. It's a little more difficult than the one we did before, but that's all right. You can work on this as you want to and get it as refined as you want to. It's just more fun to have multiple notes going at the same time. So try that out. 
let me know how it goes and have fun. So just as a bonus to the material we've already covered in case you want another little challenge, here is Amazing Grace in a different key and a different time signature than other things we've done so far in music camp. But you'll have this to do through the summer if you'd like, and you can do it in addition to the booklet of pieces that actually came with the xylophone. So here is Amazing Grace. Now, if you'll notice, this song repeats. So all you do is start back at the beginning and end the same way a second time. 